Good evening. Uh, today we have a guest, and these guests are from the uh, Pathfinder Community Connection, and they will like to explain about the their program. So, Trish, why don't you introduce yourself? Sure. Um, I'm Trish Feitner. I work for Pathfinder Community Connections. We're a local nonprofit housing and community development organization. I started working in Fort Wayne about five years ago when our uh, parent office opened a, a, a branch here to help first-time home buyers access grant money to purchase homes in the Fort Wayne area. Okay, good. Uh, what is your position in your organization? I manage the office and I'm also program manager for the refugee IDA accounts, which we'll be talking about here today. Thanks, Trish. Mm -hmm. Steve, uh, why don't you introduce yourself? All right. I'm Stephen Morgan. I work with Trish at Pathfinder Community Connections. I'm a state certified home ownership counselor, and most of my time I spend helping people avoid foreclosure. Okay. Uh, I've also taught uh, financial literacy courses to young people and adults, okay. and recently I've joined Trish in managing the Refugee IDA program. Okay, that's a Refugee IDA program. That's correct. So Trish, can you explain me what is the Refugee IDA program? Sure. Um, IDA stands for Individual Development Account, okay. and it is a, a match savings account, typically um, to help lower income families and households mm -hmm. become self-sufficient. And the Refugee IDA accounts are designed specifically for refugees to help them save money uh, to do one of the four goals that we, we have uh, behind us that we'll be okay. talking about. So you mentioned about the word self-sufficiency. Correct. You know that uh, in Fort Wayne there's a big Burmese uh, refugees mm -hmm. and they are facing, that's challenging to be mm -hmm. self-sufficient. So, so you use the word and then if they are self-sufficient in here in the United States in the adaptation process with this culture it should be great if they can uh, continue to grow themselves here. Okay? We say, Thai, and I think this is a universal concept, that if you give someone a fish, they okay. eat for one day. Okay. If you teach them and equip them to fish, they eat for a lifetime. Right. And right. the RD, RIDA program, or Refugee IDA program, helps contribute to their ability to take care of their needs for the rest of their lives. Okay, great, great. So you will m mesh the fun, right? So. Yes, it's a matching program, okay. as Trish was saying, and it's really free money in the sense that for every one dollar someone mm. saves of their own earned income, we match with another dollar. Okay. So if they save a dollar, they end up with two dollars. If they save a thousand dollars, they end up with two thousand dollars. And two thousand is the limit uh, that they can save, okay. so that if they save two thousand, we match two thousand and they have four. Okay. Now for family accounts, they can save up to four thousand dollars. We will match with four, and they'll have a total of eight. Okay. That's the best deal anywhere right now. Okay. So, what, so, so when you talk about that, in my mind, it seems like uh, it sounds like four one k. You know that. So, we a really whatever, good yeah, whatever uh, <laughs> we put the dollar is a matching for our yes. employer. Yes. But here now is because of the uh, current economy. Uh, it's depleting our, you know, four one account. Yes. Okay, so for for you, it's it's not uh, not invest in the financial. Uh, no, this is a savings account. The money they in, in the money they save is safe in their own savings okay. account. We have a second account into which we deposit the match money, and when they have achieved their savings mm -hmm. goal and are ready to buy either a house or start a small business or begin post high school education, or even buy an automobile to help them get to work or to their schooling, then we give them the match money okay. and they complete the goal. Okay. I have a question, okay. So like for one way, it's provided by the employer. Yes. So who will provide for this? Um, the funds that we are using for, for these accounts come from the Office of Refugee Resettlement okay. to the state of Indiana, and then Pathfinder Community Connections is administering that program for the state. And the hope is that with this money, it'll help families become self-sufficient and achieve financial stability more quickly than they might 
just on their own. So that's what the hope is okay. here. So it's they don't have to pay back, right? No payback. They they're going to use the monies that they've saved and the monies that they're matched to achieve one of the four goals that okay. we just mentioned. Okay. Now there is a short period of time in which we need to expend these funds. So the sooner someone can apply, okay. the better. Uh, all of the funds have to be saved and expended by September of 2013. September 2013, right? Okay. Yes. So about two more years. Okay. So Steve, can you, uh, uh, you, you are the trainer or mm -hmm. uh, counselor, right? Yes. So, so what is the catch? Yeah. Well, there really isn't a catch. Uh, there are some requirements, and okay. uh, let me just go through those. This is for refugees who have been in the United States three years or less. Three years or less, okay. And there are IDA programs for people who have been here longer, but our program today, the Refugee IDA, is for three years or less. Also, these, this is for people whose incomes are low to moderate, low to medium mm -hmm. income, for a one-person household, for example, it's $21,660. For a four-person household, it's over $44,000. So they would have to have earned income, employment income, at or below those annual gross amounts to be eligible. They would also need to agree to attend classes, a total of eight hours, uh, uh, during which time they would learn about financial uh, concepts, okay. basic literacy skills, and if they're buying a home, for example, they would attend a home buying education course. If they were buying uh, a, a car, they would learn about car buying education. There would be a class about that. A total of eight hours of class time during which they'd learn how to be a good consumer of these types of goals. Okay. The first thing is the refugees mm -hmm. uh, who are three years or under. Yes. And then the in their income right. is lower than that amount. That's uh, correct. It could not exceed that amount. That's correct. So it means it's low to moderate income people, correct. right? Yes. And then is this only for the refugees or any other people? I would say refugees, asylees, and victims of human trafficking, okay. uh, people who have been forced to work and not be paid essentially slave labor, okay. that kind of victim. Uh, I think most of the people who participate will be recent refugees. Okay. Like uh, Tris, okay. Mm -hmm. For example, like me, I've been here in 17 years in the United States. How about me if I would like to participate in this program? You wouldn't be eligible for the refugee IDA accounts, but we have regular IDA accounts, regular individual mm -hmm. development accounts, and as long as you meet the income limits and some other requirements, you might be able to participate in that. Mm -hmm. And you can, your savings would be matched to purchase a home, mm -hmm. start a small business, go to post-secondary education, and if you own a home already, you could use some of the funds to repair or do improvements on your okay. home. Ty, I might add, this yes. program is actually better for the refugees because the income limit is higher, so they can earn more than with a regular IDA, as I understand it. Okay. Also, I believe the match is better if they have a family account where they can save up to $4,000 and then earn the 4000 in match money. Okay. So about the refugees, you know, when we uh, community here, mm -hmm. you know, people are struggling. The first thing is the language barrier. Yes. And then there's a culture barrier. There's mm -hmm. a different culture. Mm -hmm. And then number three is the, about the transportation. Yes. They don't have a transportation, so they, they could not get the job. Mm -hmm. So your categories, refugees who have a regular income, mm -hmm. it means who, who has a job mm -hmm. and a regular income, it means they already pass through the language barrier, mm -hmm. right? So those people who work hard within three years, or under, who, who, who is a quick learner again within mm -hmm. one or two years, they get a job in regular income, will participate in your program. It's a kind of reward for earning and saving and then choosing as a goal something that really does develop them as okay. individuals or as families. And that would be things like a car to go to work or school, going to get more education, more education, which increases their income and, and their value to the community mm -hmm. in the future. Okay. And certainly many people want to own a home. We realize refugees come here generally with nothing. Okay. And this helps them get started. Yes. So it means so end, end of the tunnel. There is a light at the end of yes. the tunnel. So people yeah. who work very hard, who pass through those barriers, will get a reward in the yes. end, right? So right. it's encouraged to them and motivate to them. Uh, Tricia, you mentioned about the urgency. You know? Yes. Uh, so can you explain about the little urgency that they need to apply? 
Right. Um, there are only 225 accounts available for the whole state of Indiana. The whole state of Indiana. Um, primarily, we're focusing on Indianapolis and the Fort Wayne area. Okay. So we hope that as many people as possible will come from Fort Wayne, and that's why we're here today mm -hmm. to talk about the program and, and spread the word. Um, so the sooner folks can apply with us, okay. the better. Okay. Um, the monies have to be saved and expended by September of 2013. September 2013. Okay, so I, 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 I'm sure that people might have, you know, interesting in this uh, IDA program mm -hmm. may have many questions. Mm -hmm. So how can they contact and how, how they, can they ask you? Well, I think you're going to show our telephone number, and uh, we have a toll-free number as well for people outside of the Fort Wayne community. Uh, and I know you have viewers in Tennessee and New York, and they have similar programs in their own states and communities, and I think you're showing those numbers as well. We generally ask them to contact us by phone or to visit the office. We do have language interpreters we can schedule for an appointment, okay. uh, which will help for people who, who are, are uncertain of their English. Okay. And uh, we certainly uh, will take the application, enroll them, they can begin saving, and we will coach and teach mm -hmm. to make sure they achieve their goal. Okay, okay, that, that sounds good. Okay, uh, uh, thank you very much, uh, Trish and Stephen. Uh, your program seems right, helpful to our community. You know that they are struggling and that they are uh, trying to work very hard to achieve those goals. Okay, so. Thank you very much again, and thanks to the Pathfinder uh, Community Connection plus SSTV people. Thank you.